Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nicola and I make lifestyle videos and today I thought I would share with you what I got for my birthday. I don't know whether these videos are a bit old hat, but I enjoy watching them and I made one last year and everyone really seemed to enjoy it. So just thought I'd do it again. I don't think we're super overindulgent at birthdays. So yeah, I think um, hopefully you'll enjoy seeing what I got and I'll certainly enjoy sharing it with you. Um, so it was my birthday last week, last Thursday, I was 47 um, and yeah, I'm embracing being in my late 40s now and uh, you know, coasting on through to 50. Um, but yeah, so I had a really lovely birthday. Um, my parents came for lunch, which was really nice. Unfortunately, Andrew had to work, but um, he took, we were, he was supposed to have the day off, but he had to work. So he took me for lunch the day before. So I actually got to go out twice. Um, I also saw some friends at the weekend. So that was really nice. Um, and I'm seeing another friend later on this week. So that's nice too. Um, so yeah, it was a really lovely day and um, I got some really nice presents. So I thought I would show you what I got. So I'll start off with what my son Archie bought me. Um, I think he paid for these with his own money, which will be the first time. Um, and because he worked, well, he, he's in sixth form, but he has a job as well. So I, we sort of said it's about time he was sort of paying for his own gifts and things. Um, so I, yeah, I think he got, well, he certainly ordered these himself. Um, and I think he probably paid for them too. So yeah, he got me first and foremost these socks <laughs> how cool are these so if you've seen my videos before you know i have a bit of an obsession with leopard print shoes i have several pairs of different leopard print trainers and shoes um but i love these so these actually are one pair of two so um, these are from asos and they come in a pack with um these leopard print ones and then also with white ones with like the bits that are leopard that are white here are leopard print does that make sense? Like the opposite way around. Anyway, so yeah, they were from ASOS and they're actually really comfortable socks, like super nice. I've actually worn these and the other ones are in the wash, which is why I can't show them to you. Um, but yeah, really, really nice um, and comfy and stretchy. So I would thoroughly recommend those if you fancy some nice, you know, luxury socks. Uh, so yeah, that was those. And then he also bought me, which are just some tickets, but I'll show you. I'll, explain what they are. Um, he bought me some tickets to go and see Carl Hutchinson um, a comedy show at the Dern Gate in Northampton in February, March time, I think it is. Um, so if you watched my last video, I was doing a bit of a catch up and Archie and I went to see Chris Ramsey, um, the comedian in Oxford at the theatre and he was supported by his friend Carl Hutchinson who was really funny. Um, if you listen to Chris and Rosie's podcast, you probably have heard of him. Um, and we really enjoyed the support act and he said that he was doing a tour and I googled it and saw that he was in Northampton I said to Archie oh we should go and see that that would be great and then he bought me tickets so I thought that was really lovely that he thought about that and um that we can go out again and he's quite happy to take his mum to the theatre again so um so that would be really nice and I'm looking forward to doing that um right next so um Phoebe my daughter um she didn't obviously buy this herself, um, but Andrew got this um, on her behalf as my gift. And it is, oh, that would help if, oh, actually it is that. No, that's got our address on it, you don't see that. Um, it is a Cricut Joy. Um, I am very excited to start making things with this. I, it's very much going to be a hobby. I'm not going to, Phoebe said, oh, can we start a business? We can sell things on Etsy. I'm like, no, I've, I have enough going on in my life. I don't need to be starting a business. However, this will be used for making some Christmas presents, I think. And um, yeah, he didn't buy me any of the little tools that you need to go with it or the press for doing stuff. So I, I've got to go to the to hobby craft and perhaps get a few more bits to go with it before I actually start using it. So I haven't taken it out of the box yet, um, but I will do. And um, we'll see what I can make with it and I can get my craft on. But I was very excited by that. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to using it. Uh, Obviously, the, I mean, this one is relatively affordable if you're looking for a cricket, but the bigger ones, I think, do more stuff. And I think they're great if you're going to run a business. Um, but this, I think, is fine for you know little home projects. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what I can make. Um, next up, so Andrew got me some clothes. Um, I, I've just 
taken this off actually because I thought it'd be easier to show it to you off. Um, but he got so I did I did give him some little images. I sent him some pictures of some things that I liked, um, and he got a few things arrived and a few things hadn't arrived, so we had to go and collect them um, at the weekend. And actually, so. I asked for a jumper, a cardigan and a pair of jeans and um, the jeans he got unfortunately were too small um, and because I hadn't, I, I, to be honest I'd sent him the pictures and hadn't really thought he'd bother ordering them, I thought oh he probably already got something so he probably won't get them and he did so I hadn't actually set, stipulated what size to get. Um, so he got this cardigan which has actually, actually we picked up at the weekend um, but he got it in like a cream colour and I didn't want a cream, I wanted a grey, but I'd also asked him for a jumper in grey. And he thought, well, you asked for two grey things, so I thought I'd get different colours. It's like, no, stick to the plan. <laughs> um, so we had to go and exchange it, and actually the one he got was too big. So I went back and found this one. So this is um, cardigan in grey. This is all from H&M. Um, it's got little tortoiseshell buttons on it, and... Um, yeah, I really like this and I got it in a small, so he got it in a medium, but that was, um, they. in fact, they only had this particular one in a small. Um, so I tried it on in the shop and it fits absolutely fine. So um, I got that in a small and um, it's really nice, it's actually really thick um, and cosy warm for the winter. So I got that, I shall put that back on in a moment. And then the jumper reach over you may have seen other people on Instagram wearing this because that's where I saw it um, but I absolutely loved it and it is this sort of cropped jumper with um, a sort of is it a, is it a polar neck it's not quite is it? it's a roll neck at the top it is really thick it's got sort of like a cuffed sleeve um, they do this in loads of different colors um, this is the grey, they do it in like a sagey green, I think a cream, probably in a black. They do loads, loads of different colours. Um, so um, I'm quite tempted to go and get the sage green one, but um, I'll stick with this for now. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really chuffed with that. So that looks, I wore that actually with, what did I wear it with? I think I just wore it with my black jeans the other day. Um, but yeah, love that. And then I had to take back the jeans because they were too small. And I don't think even... Um, a larger size would have fitted lengthwise. Um, and then I saw these, so H&M, I find um, their sizing really odd because bearing in mind that cardigan is a small and fits me fit perfectly. That jumper is a medium and fits me perfectly. And then these trousers I got in a 14 and they fit, but they are super tight, like really tight. Um, and they're supposed to be quite loose and baggy and they're actually really short as well so I am going to I actually went and exchanged the 12s for these and I didn't have a chance to try them on in the shop and um, when I got them home I thought actually they are a little bit too short and if I bought the 16 they would probably hang a bit looser and then would be a bit longer so I'm actually going to take these back and exchange them for a 16 um, and if you watch my, I did a big haul video back at the beginning of the summer or springtime and I bought a pair of like combat trousers in H&M and I got a 16 in those and they fitted fine. So I don't really know why I didn't just pick up the 16 at the time. Wishful thinking, I think. Um, but yeah, so although these fit, they're just not the best fit. So I'm going to switch those out for a 16. But they were really lovely and I was very appreciative of a new pair of jeans. So that's that. Um, he bought me one other thing which I will show you at the end. That was sort of my main present, but I will show you that at the end. Um, then I went to see some friends and um, my lovely friend Diane <sighs> bought me these. Now if you saw my what I got for my birthday last year, you will know the story about these. So um, I, am, I have started to collect, um, thanks to her actually, some Spode Christmas crockery. She bought me last year a cake slice and some little teaspoons of um, the Spode Christmas range. I actually was in TK Maxx last week and I picked um, up a vegetable dish for myself, like a serving dish. And then for my birthday, she bought these and bless her, she said, oh, I hope it doesn't, it's not too predictable, but I'm so chuffed with them and I'm more than happy for her to continue to buy me little bits of Spode um, for the rest of my life <laughs> because my collection will just grow and grow and it's perfect. So she bought me this, so this is the Spode Christmas um, range. You may have seen it um, advertised. I think Brand Alley are always advertising this around this time of year, but this is the cream jug and how gorgeous is that? 
um, I think I told the story on my last video, but in case you didn't see it, I, when I was um, a child, I was in the church choir and every year we used to have a church choir Christmas party and we went to this couple's house um, and they had the full range of Spode Christmas crockery. And I said to myself, one day I will have that. Um, so they had the plates, the bowls, everything. And that has always been my wish to have at Christmas time to be able to get out a full range of Christmas Spode. So this is um, this is the start of my little collection, or the building of my collection. I've got a few things now. They did have some dessert bowls in TK Maxx, and I think next time after payday, when I go in there, I may pick those up as well. Um, I wouldn't. You can't get the. I mean, you can get these at full price if you want to, but uh, they are super expensive. So getting them elsewhere um, when they're on a cheaper offer, that's the best option and then she also bought me this which is a beautiful spoon rest isn't it huge <laughs> um this is so lovely it's got obviously the christmas tree the spode christmas tree on there with a little bit of uh, is that mistletoe yes it is i think mistletoe up there so that will look so lovely next to my um hob i've got a disney one i think that i use throughout the year but this will look lovely at christmas time so i'm super excited about that so thank you diane um for those and then um, my other friend Vicky also bought me some lovely bits. So Diane went down the Christmas route and Vicky went down the autumn route because they know me so well. So Vicky bought me this autumn candle um, from, it's a DW Home one. I think she said she got it from TK Maxx. Um, it's got, uh, let me go, it's got pumpkins on the top and a little fence and it's just gorgeous. And it is pumpkin butter. And it's got a very, um, a really nice it is a really buttery sort of scent it's not your typ typical pumpkin scent it's not over sweet but it's a real thick sort of buttery scent and i love it so i'm looking forward to burning that and then excuse me bending down all these bits here she also got me these and she said she got these from like a teacher's a teacher from a teacher's like stationery website i think um, so she got me this little um, jotter, like notepad, um, which says pumpkin spice and all things nice on the front, which is lovely. Oh, it's called the Teachers Love Stationery Club. I imagine you've probably got to be a, oh, there is a Students Love Stationery Club as well. You see that on the back. So if you want to head over there, they have obviously have all sorts of things. Um, I don't know whether you maybe have to be a teacher. To go to go to go to buy things, but probably not. Um, so then she got me that. She also got me um, these little um, sticky notes, memo notes. How sweet are those? All matching. Oh, so lovely. And then some little tape, which I love. It's got all pumpkins and cinnamon sticks and leaves and stuff on that. And then she got me these little. I think they're little stickers little star anise and all sorts of bits in there and oh I can't beat a good bit of stationery can you and then she got me these little um like paper clips oh pumpkins in this sort of brass metal which are just gorgeous um and then a little a little organza bag with some pens in and um, some like fine liners in as well which is just beautiful so yeah she got me those as well so I think I was very lucky actually I think that's um, just gorgeous and then finally the last thing I got is the thing that I'm filming on um, I will show you the box I might if I get my other camera actually I can take some film and show you it in action I'm really struggling though and I'm, I'm sorry if in this video I keep looking over here because I'm used to having my filming on my g7x camera um, which has a screen at the top and um, if I look at myself when I'm filming you can only just if you kn I, I know you I can notice when I'm doing it but you probably don't notice too much because you only just look just above like that so it's not much different but with this one this is a new camera by the way um this one the screen is to the right <laughs> and it's quite off-putting because I and I've seen other people I'm doing it on purpose now but I've seen other people video entire vlogs like this and it's really off-putting to watch so I'm sorry I'm really really trying to just talk to the lens <laughs> today um so I may have looked over to the side a few times so I apologize for that but I'm really trying to look at the lens because this camera has the lens the screen to the side 
Um, but I have got, um, let's get the box, it's be easier to show you. There's lots of bits in it. Hold on. So I had a, um, I did it again, look. Um, I had a DSLR um, proper camera, um, gosh, a few, quite a few years ago now, Andrew bought me from eBay and um, I loved it, I really loved it. And then he got me um, an external mic for it so that I could film videos um, and get some really good sound quality. He then bought me a lovely big lens for it. But the more things I added to it, um, the bulkier it got and the less I actually used it. And I found that taking it out and about was too bulky. I took it on holiday when we went to, went to um, America and I don't think I used it at all. I took all the pictures on my like little vlogging camera or on my phone. And I thought this is just a waste of money. So I did a bit of research and found um, a smaller camera which had a detachable lens called Olympus Pen, which was really pretty and nice. And I, so I um, sold my DSLR and my, um, my mic and my extra lens and used that money to fund buying this Olympus Pen camera, which was super expensive. Um, I bought a second-hand one again on eBay and um, I think it's it's just quite a trendy camera because it was white and um, it looks lovely in like flat lays and things like that and I thought I'd use it loads. I don't think I used it at all. I never really got to grips with it. Um, I didn't really like it. The, it. It wasn't very usable. I just didn't like it. Um, I've been very used to using Canon cameras and I think changing to Olympus I just couldn't get around my, my head around it. So I then, my G7X, I had a Mark I camera, sorry I'm talking camera speak here, but um, my vlogging camera, I had a, a Mark I and that was coming to the end of its life really. So I sold that and then I sold my Olympus pen and with the proceeds of both of those, I bought my new vlogging camera, which is the Canon G7X Mark II, which is this one. And that's the one I usually film on, um, which is fine. I love it. It's really good, um, but I rarely take good pictures on it. It doesn't have, it got a zoom, but it doesn't have a detachable len lens on it. Um, and it's great for vlogging because it's nice and small, um, but the quality probably isn't as great for like sit down videos like this and also for photography. And I really do like t going out and doing good photography um, and using a decent camera, but haven't done obviously since I just got this. So I did say to Andrew, for my birthday, I would love another DSLR camera. Um, not a massive lens like I had before, but um, just a, a small one that I can, you know, take some good pictures on. So he went out and got me, and I can't remember what the, the camera I had before was, but it was a similar one, it was an EOS. He got me the EOS M50, which is this, um, but, and I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna switch to dual, dual uh, camera mode <laughs> I've got the um but this is the new camera so it is white and it is so pretty um there you go there's me vlogging <laughs> um oh you can't see because of the there we go you can see but it is so beautiful um it is lovely and it's really light um so it um it's really light to carry around. It obviously has the detachable lens. I haven't got a great big one to go with it. Don't need that at the moment. Um, and I haven't got an external mic for it and I would quite like one of those. So I might treat myself or ask Andrew for one of those for Christmas. Um, and then I'll keep it this time. I'm not gonna sell it again. I love this camera. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use this hopefully for more of these sit down videos because I think the quality is slightly better. Um, but, uh, and then keep my vlogging camera for, you know, out and about and just, you know, when I'm, doing vlogs around the house um but yeah so this was it he did get it on ebay so it wasn't brand new but it i think it he said that the person who was selling it had taken five pictures on it and that was it nothing else um so it is practically brand new so he probably got a really good deal on it i didn't ask obviously how much it cost um but um it was second hand but i don't care <laughs> i don't care second hand is fine it's a lovely new camera and i to be honest I think buying cameras secondhand is so much better. So many people buy cameras, I mean, I've done it, and then hardly use them, um, and then realise that they, you know, it was a bit of a fad and they, they didn't really need it, and they sell it again to fund something else. Um, so you can get an almost brand new camera for, you know, a fraction of the price. So, uh, so yeah, that was my main present, if you like. And I think that's everything. So I had a lovely birthday and I was very lucky and got some really lovely presents. I'm looking forward to my night out with Archie in February, March time, whenever that is. And I'm really looking forward to using my Cricut Joy um, 
I need a free weekend to sort of go to Hobbycraft, buy some bits to go with it, and then sit down and learn how to use it. Um, but I will do that in the next couple of weeks. In fact, I've got a week off next week because it's half term, so hopefully I'll have some time to do that. I think Phoebe's got her eyes on using that as well. So uh, we'll probably to do some little projects together and make some Christmas presents for family members. Um, so yeah, that's everything I've got for my birthday. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a nice comment down below and I will see you next time. Bye.